Hi, welcome to my little garage here in Denmark. My name is Simon. 13 months ago, my family and I bought this brand new Mustang Magi standard range. And over that period of time, we have driven more than 25,000 kilometers in it, basically without any trouble at all. Today, I'm gonna give it a mechanical assessment because I'm swapping my summer with my winter tires. And uh, I'm gonna use that occasion to dismantle the brakes, have a look at the suspension, go underneath the car to see if I can find anything at all suspicious or any parts that seems to have been prone to wear and tear. So I'm pretty excited about it. So I have taken my working clothes on and I'm about to jump into it. So give me two minutes and let's uh, assess the car. So now I have disassembled the front brakes and it actually looks very good. Let's have a look at the brake pads first of all. They are equally the same width they are supposed to be. Uh, they have approximately eight millimeters left and that's just fine. It is definitely not worn out, not even close. Of course, the interesting part are the brake discs because as you might know, an electric vehicle uh, brakes a lot with the electric motor, not with the hydraulic brake system using the brake disc. So they are very prone to just rust simply because they are not being used. But what we can see on this brake disc is that first of all, there is not really any particular rust on the uh, brake pad surface. And we can also feel that there is a slight edge here at the top of the disc, which is exactly supposed to be that edge is coming from the brake pads pressing in. So this is exactly what we want to see. This is just fine. No wear at all. And it just shows that I am actually using the brakes sometime. Otherwise there would have been uh, more rust on it. So I'm going to clean it up and then I'm going to look at the, the same way on the rear disc brake. So give me a couple of minutes. Even on normal cars, combustion engine cars, the rear disc are always prone to rust simply to the fact that most of the load when braking is taken by the front disc. And this is also the case with the electric car. So if we start looking at the disc, um, what we can see here is that, I'm just gonna take my glove off, that there is a slight edge here, uh, meaning as with the front disc, we are braking with the rear disc, but at the same time, you might be able to see, and I can definitely feel it, there are grooves here, simply uh, from rust starting to appear on the disc. And you could see that on uh, any other car as well. Nevertheless, it has only driven 25,000 as I mentioned. I'm gonna guess that another 25, 30,000, they are gonna have to be simply uh, replaced. Not because they are worn out, but simply to the fact that they have become too rusty. If we look at the brake pads here, they are almost full thickness. There's not much to see on, on them either. So it is actually a little bit uh, like expected. So I think I'm going to take the camera now in my hand and we'll just go around the car and go underneath and see what we actually more can find. So here we are at the front uh, wheel. And what we want to look for here is uh, the steering linkage, which we have here. If there is any wear and tear or wear or it seems loose, it's definitely not. Especially this stabilizing arm that we have right here is very prone to wear out on all cars. And uh, there is nothing here either. It's very smooth. Just as well as we have the lower triangle, we have that right here. And there's absolutely no uh, loose bushings in that either. I have pulled a lot in it to notice that. Uh, if we go to the back of the car, it's actually very similar. What's interesting here is, are we able to find any uh, of the suspension linkages which has a, a wear or a tear? It could be this one, which is a stabilizing arm. There is nothing in that either. Could also be uh, rear shocks are typical, prone to leak oil after a certain period of time. And this is simply not oil that we see right here. This is just because it has been rust protected, uh, but it is not leaking at all. 
just as well as we have the rear wheel linkage arms, um, but there is no uh, wear in those either. We have them right here, we have right here, and uh, the rear one over here, but there is nothing here at all. So uh, I know I said I would be going underneath the car, but we simply cannot see anything. I forgot it's completely shielded off with plastic. Um, nevertheless, I have not found anything on this mechanical assessment. I did uh, take it a little deeper than what you actually saw. And if I had found something, I would have mentioned it to you. So I hope this can give a little calmness to you if you're looking to buy a new or perhaps a used Mustang mach -E. Uh, anyway, as always, I want you to stay safe and take care. Bye.